Let's just call it how it is. Let's just call it how it is right here. <laughs> you said all that to just say, let's call it how it is. How are we calling it? Because I don't know which way you're calling it. You're giving the Ben for the Dow. You said he played bad. Listen, I was wrong about Zach Wilson. It's as simple as that. It sucks. Do I up here right now feel a bit embarrassed for all the hyping up I did of Zach Wilson? I definitely do. You should. It's somebody that I thought was going to turn into a good quarterback. I thought he'd be Tua. And That's a shame. From my perspective, I was absolutely wrong. Yep. Almost every scout was too. Because they had <laughs> Zach Wilson high as well. So, to me, that was just an eye-opener that it's very hard to evaluate the quarterback position. Mm. And I messed up. There's no doubt about that. I just want to take you guys through the emotional roller coaster that has been the Zach Wilson fandom for me. Because <laughs> he gets drafted. He's somebody that I watched in college, and I loved him. I said, yo, this guy's my favorite quarterback. We were watching a, an interview with Zach Wilson when he was at BYU, and Joel is actively crying <laughs> as we're watching this, by the way. Yeah, that interview sold me as the Jets franchise quarterback. Zach Wilson becomes a Jet, and maybe I should have just seen this coming from the beginning because I went to the Jets green and white practice that they host yearly, and at that very stadium that day, I bought a Zach Wilson jersey. And it's, it's so ironic because before I bought that jersey – I've bought Sam Darnold's. I've bought Mark Sanchez's. Never Geno Smith's, though, because he wasn't a first-round pick. And after Sanchez and Darnold didn't pan out, I told myself, I'm not buying the Jets quarterback's jersey because I have to see them pan out. I got ahead of myself with Zach. I have a photo on Instagram that's captioned, I may have prematurely ruined Zach, Zach Wilson's career by buying his jersey. So do I give myself some of the blame in this? I do, man. 2021 preseason, he looked like the man. 2021 preseason has to go. I know it's the <laughs> preseason. On. What are we doing? But I look, at, I look at that Zach Wilson. I look how, Joel, at how confident he just is. Let him, let him. In the preseason, he was the best rookie quarterback. Wow. And I'm I'm just looking to my looking at myself like, man, if this guy looks like this on Sundays, we have a quarterback. We have our guy. The regular season comes. He throws a lot of interceptions. The Titans game happened. I can't lie. The Titans game was the highest that I've been as a Jets fan in years. That was my favorite game. That game or the Bills game we just had? Yeah, but the Titans game for me was when I saw Zach Wilson He's rip that ball 50 he is yards. Tearing up. He's about to cry. The excitement I had, I was with my dad. I was Sorry, like, sir. yes. Zach Wilson's our quarterback. He's about to cry. This is L. <laughs> There's a brand new fantasy app. It's called Boom Fantasy. You got over unders, player props. You got matchups. This player is that player that's personally my favorite. And long shots, you can win forty times your money. And if I'm not mistaken, Joel, NBA is coming soon. Yes, sir. NBA will be in the app in the next ten days or so. You know, wow. I believe opening night is October 19th, so we'll have stuff up a few days beforehand. Mm, uh, that's gonna be fun because we uh, have it every night. You don't have to wait till Monday. Your, did Thursday. you get your code? For the league pass? I did get my code I for the league pass. I got my code too. Yep, that's amazing. Oh, that's from 2K, right? Yes. That's tough. Amazing. That's fire. So if you guys haven't already <laughs> downloaded the Boom Fantasy app right now, link is in our description or in the caption wherever you're watching. Crying over Zach Wilson. Imagine. It's crazy. Imagine. Yo, He's not that yo, good, bro. Know, <laughs> <laughs> He's not that good, bro. I'm sorry. I can't believe the Jets missed on that. <laughs> <laughs> bro is in pain. <laughs> he is hurt. <laughs> oh, Yo. Yo, he's really Yo. hurting for real. Like, Yo, damn, bro, bro, bro. Zach did it to him. <laughs> wow. You know what, man? I'll be honest. I want to come up here and I really want to be sympathetic for the guy. Try, man. You know, because I, I, be here. I, I root be for the here. Jets. Like, I really want them to succeed. These are my two, two of my best friends. I hate to see the Jets not be successful. But when I think about all the times, all the times that I was called foolish for thinking of supporting Tua Tonga Vailoa, that it made it difficult mm -hmm. to want to see Zach succeed. And now Zach is, unfortunately, probably the worst starting quarterback in the league yes. as of right now. Is there? Do you really think there's a, one worse than him? 
Kenny Pickett, maybe. Uh, Honestly, I, I think Pickett's better. Let me think the names. Mariota. He's I would rather Mariota. Like as hell. He's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I told you too. I got uh, uh, Brissett's been playing good. Yeah, Brissett has been playing. I'm well. sorry. We already said hi to Ryan. I mean, Ellinger. When the he's only playing? the God. only thing I feel bad about, honest to God, is that since you're my oh, friend, Davis I want him to be su- no. successful. That's Mills. that's really it. He's yeah. But the the disrespect that you showed me in the past when it came to my opinions on another AFC East quarterback, that's the only reason why I can't be all you know. On the same level of sorrow, as I, I understand the the uh, discrepancy. I understand issue. it. I, I do you. understand it. You know, because of course, you know, there's a rivalry there. Naturally. There is. There is. I thought Zach Wilson was a guy. You know, I know I said those little those tears. That's how <laughs> much I believe Zach Wilson was the guy. Every game this year, I've defended him. The Patriots game was the game for me. That was the last straw. <laughs> I just couldn't anymore. And then the press conference took it over the top. I, I don't know where it went, where it went wrong for him. I, I don't know because I do believe he's talented. I do believe he's talented. I just don't know if he's reading the field correctly. He's still, he's there's there's, there's just the intangibles are just not there. And uh-huh, this uh-huh. is where I get a, a bit serious about this matter because, of course, I'm not in the locker room. I'm not practicing. I don't know what's going on there on a day-to-day basis. I don't know how hard Zach Wilson's working. Maybe he's working very hard and he still hasn't been able to figure it, figure it out. I don't know any of that. But just me assuming, looking at how he's played, I can make the assumption that he hasn't put in the time in to be a great NFL quarterback. Because we've seen quarterbacks like Jalen Hurts who have come in and they've put in the time We had Darius Slay on the pod and talk about his leadership. We've seen him want to get better, and he has. Here's another example. We've seen Justin Fields do it, too. (laughs) And he was he he got better. Well, Quinnen said at his press conference, they see Zach, because a reporter asked him, did Zach clear the air with you guys, obviously, after remarks about the defense, and he said, no, Zach doesn't have to. We see how hard he works. He comes in and works just as hard as the rest of us. That sounds like so. Uh, Quinnen is a leader on that defense. Yeah, He's yeah, a leader yeah. of the team. So yeah. him talking highly about Zach resonates with me. It, it does, but I I want to say that to say this. We do this podcast two times a week. We put a lot of work into this podcast. We all have lives outside of this podcast. We all work our hardest to put on a show every single time we do this podcast. So for me, what bothers me about Zach Wilson is the thought that he's not putting in the work to be a great NFL quarterback. That's what bothers me. Joel, you're losing me. Joel, you're losing me. 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 like a disappointed bro, dad. Like, bro, no. no we're forget not, about we're, that. We're, the, he we're just not compared comparing. doing we're a not, podcast we're not, we're not, we're twice not. a week <laughs> to be an NFL quarterback. Reel really it back in. Reel really it back in. Oh, my. Really but but that, that to me, I, I just, I don't know. Because he's There's talented. There's nothing to defend. And that's it. That's I just, it. I that's feel it. like I feel like if you he... fell in love with him, bro, you fell in love with him as a prospect. He went to your favorite team, and then you, at that point, you have to root for him. And it, it's been hard sitting up here for the last two months, being a diehard Jets fan who is very indifferent about Zach, and talk to Zach about you. Because I feel like I could have some very honest conversations about Zach with 80 90 percent of Jets fans. But when it came to you, it was always positives, always rainbows with Zach. And that's why we never saw eye to eye because I could say I could give him his praise. But when he plays bad, it's starting to be consistently bad. So when you're consistently bad and every once in a while you have a good drive, a good fourth quarter, a good first quarter like he did against Buffalo, but overwhelmingly it's bad. That's when we've had these disagreements on the show. Let me ask you. Now, I know prior to the show, we spoke about the sink, the, the ship sinking. Excuse me. Um, are you going to bring him along with you, or are you choosing to allow him to, to big bro you right now? Joel? Joel. I'm glad you brought that up. Thank you. Because I'm very confused. Dells, you act as if you haven't been a Zach Wilson fan and you haven't been rooting for Zach and you haven't also been projecting this breakout like me. I've definitely been rooting I've for de- Zach, I, yes. I've definitely been higher up on the projection. Yes. But you also projected him to be very, I did. very, very how, good. Drew, how quick was I out of the Zach 
It was. I'll be honest, Drew. It was. It was like two games into the it season. Was very early. It was very early. It was, very, it was early. very early. I remember sitting here and we were talking about Tua, and he said, "Would you rather have Tua or Zach?" And I couldn't answer, and I had to hide my face because I didn't want to answer. Oh. That was very early on in the season after the Ravens game. Even Zach the- coming into this year, I was very high on. <coughs> I two was with the offense. Up. Then he has the injury, which a, a second injury, his second second year in the career, second injury where he's going to miss games. He comes back against the Steelers. He had a rough first three quarters. A couple drives really didn't do it for me. I forgot the game he played after the Steelers. Who did we play? Um, I forgot. Was no, it wasn't the Bills. The Bills. Ba- Bengals? No. No, Bengals was before. I'm not sure. But Zach did nothing spectacular this season. Zach never showed Miami. flashes. Miami. And with this offense and uh, what we, we were seeing, see facts, when we were seeing with Joe Flacco, the way he was playing though for 300 yards – However you want to cut it, we were getting blown out in a couple of games, whatever, thrown for 300 yards, and I don't see Zach have anywhere near the same sort of production. Tells me very quick the type of quarterback he is. That's respectable. I, I understand your perspective. But you also have takes of you saying you'd take Zach over to a... <laughs> I'm sure, I know. You also have a take before the draft. Bro's taking you down with him. Before the draft, you tweeted, I have it in my phone. You <laughs> tweeted that trade, trade Sam Darnold, either you want to trade back and keep Sam... Or keep the pick and draft Zach Wilson. Because sometimes I, I hear you come on the show and say, we should have had Justin Fields joking. I was very high on hey, Justin hey, Fields. Hey, I have hey, tweets saying, hey. take Justin Fields that too. Hey, hey, no, no doubt. It's rich coming from this guy over here who has two different opinions on everything. No doubt, no doubt. Shit. Justin Justin Jets Fields. Justin arguing. Justin Fields, <laughs> I, this. Is my, <laughs> Justin Fields is my guy. Now, I like How Justin Fields. How much did Fields. I get mud fun of last year rooting for Justin Fields? A lot. Get clowned by him for rooting for Justin Fields. A lot. How often? A lot. Justin Fields. Now he's a Justin has Fields improved. shooter. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Justin Fields has improved, though. And I can admit when the, a quarterback has been super impressive Extremely to me. Better, yeah. Fields has been remarkable. You can't talk to me about Fields when I was up here praising him last yes, year. Yes, but you also thought Zach Wilson would be making this type of leap. Don't lie. I didn't you know. But, but you were you were adamant had making this leap you after he sucked Zach for Wilson a month. Number two. So let's stop acting like I was the only one wrong about you were wrong about Zach Wilson. No, because too. I was I wrong. Because once he sure, showed me who Zach, Zach really was, was, that's when I got out. You kept believing week after week after week after week. You believed. You stopped believing after the Broncos game. I stopped believing. What was his third game? I, I really don't remember. What was that his third game? Maybe the All right, so you guys, you guys went Baltimore. Well, obviously the three games, Baltimore, yes. Cleveland, Cincinnati. Pitt? So then it was Pittsburgh, Miami, Green Bay, Denver, New England. Pittsburgh, Miami, game winning drive. Good game against Miami. It, it went downhill look, look, the Broncos Look at his game. numbers, bro. Of course. I know I'm saying that. He had 210 against Miami. He had 110 against Green Bay. He had 121 against Denver. What are we talking about? 355 against yes, New England. Yes, you stop believing like in the Green Bay Broncos game. There's no doubt. There's no doubt it took me longer to get off the Zach you Wilson train. You stayed on train. about as long as you possibly could. I'm surprised you're still even kind of holding out hope a little bit. Listen, I'm done with Zach Wilson. I can't you're done? I can't <laughs> are you for done? Zach Wilson. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's funny because Joel, you know what Joel said a few weeks ago? He said, he said, Joel. When Zach Wilson goes off, I remember you doubting him. I remember <laughs> you. So if Zach Wilson went off, he's going to say, I doubt him. Now that Zach Wilson sucks, he's trying to bring up, oh, well, you always won, Zach. You had him. Trying Come to on, bro. No, no, no. Come on. We know how it felt Zach giving, over these we, last can, month. Can I have we, to root can for we him. Agree? He's the Jets quarterback. Can, can I'm going to root for him. Can we agree to also agree on this one? <laughs> agree to disagree, whatever. Can we agree that you thought you were high on Zach Wilson, too? Coming into the year, yes. Okay, after these couple of games, you left. There's no doubt. Was I wrong for saying that, oh, you're going to you, see? You've been the face for sure, of Zach. For sure. If Zach wasn't on the Jets, I uh, oof, I don't know. Yeah. I had I had to be in on him. I had no other choice. The thing is, it was written in the stars for Zach to be successful. Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, you bring in two tight ends. I just don't. You, bring, you draft Brees Hall. You have a solid offensive line that has gotten beat up, but when healthy, it's good. Brees Hall went down. Life well. got horrible for Exactly. Time, it was raining the stars for no, him to be once good. Once Brees went down, it really it showed you the real Once Brees went down, bro, this offense lacks explosion. It showed you the real Without Zach. Brees, because Zach can't consistently make explosive plays. He can't. No way. He needs a receiver or and the running backs. James Robinson and Michael Carter are not explosive type players. They're not breaking off the runs Brees can. And I love Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, but. Zach can't hit guys.